I'm Tom Nelson. I teach guitar, ukulele, and bass guitar at REW Music. Um, so the best thing about teaching music really is developing relationships with people um, and interacting with folks on a one-to-one -one basis uh, through the process of creativity and getting to know folks, especially you know young people who are fantastic. Um, and there's a lot of benefits, you know, to me as a player as well. Like I'm constantly learning about new music um, and learning to play new music. Uh, there are so many times where I will learn a song specifically for a student, or you know, uh, pursue a song that a student uh, wants to play, and here I am exposed to a new artist. So I learn quite a bit from my students as well. I make lessons fun by working with students on music that they want to play. Most students of mine have some ideas about what they'd like to do on the guitar. Um, and although there are certain things that I insist upon touching upon, you know, um, for the most part, I'll focus on what the student really wants to learn how to play. Um, there, like I said, there are things that I think are important uh, to learning an instrument. But when it comes to the guitar, I think it's important to pursue uh, the taste of the student. So as far as tips go, you know, I would say, um, for one thing, I think, you know, scales are very important, as well as learning um, your notes on your instrument. Um, learning to read music is, is very helpful in terms of progressing, because once you're able to read well, you can teach yourself. Um, as it were. Um, as far as reading goes, I would also suggest that guitar players learn to, to play things in different octaves. Um, part of that is because of the way the guitar sounds. It sounds uh, an octave lower than it, it's written. So when you read a note on the guitar, it actually sounds an octave lower than the note that you're reading. Um, and like I said, I think it's important just to, you know, play scales, but also play the things that you like to play and always continue to, uh, to listen uh, to other guitarists as well. Yeah, another piece of advice I would give would be to, to practice at least four or five times a week, you know, and uh, you can determine how long you, you practice uh, every time you practice, but uh, you should practice the things that your, your instructor gives you and, as well as the things that you like to play um, and just be prepared for your lessons. Yeah, you should take lessons from me because and I've taught so much over the last 10 or 15 years. I've really developed a method for working with all kinds of students, uh, young and old, uh, all different levels of experience, beginner to advanced. Um, all sorts of people have come to see me over the years and I always pursue um, reaching the goals of each individual student.